we need to write the numbers below in order from smallest to largest. So first, we have 9,600,000, 690,000, 90,000, 6,990,000, and 9,660,000. Now when we're comparing numbers, we start by comparing the larger place values first. So here, our millions place value. But these two numbers don't have any digits in the millions. So when we look across to the hundred thousands, we can see that this number has six in the hundred thousands, but this number doesn't have any hundred thousands. So we know that 90,000 is the smallest number, and then 696,000 is next smallest. Notice 90,000 only has five digits, and 696,000 only has six digits. All of our other numbers are seven digit numbers, and when we're comparing whole numbers, numbers with fewer digits will always be smaller. So now, if we look at the numbers we have left, we have two numbers with nine in the millions, but this number here only has six in the millions, so that means 6,990,000 must be next smallest. So now, both of these numbers have 9 in the millions, and when we go across to the hundred thousands, both numbers also have the same number of hundred thousands. They both have 6 as the hundred thousands digit. So we need to move across again and look at our ten thousands. Here, we have 6 in the 10,000s place value, but here we have a 0. So that means 9,600,000 must be next smallest, and so our largest number is 9,660,000. Now we have 77,666, 6,677,666. 7,777, 7,676,666, and 7,767,777. Again, we know that numbers with fewer digits will be smaller. So that means this number here, which only has four digits, is our smallest number, and then this number here, which only has five digits, is next smallest. So now we need to compare our seven digit numbers. Here we have six in the millions, but both of our other numbers have seven millions. So that means this number here is next smallest. Now for these remaining two numbers, because they both have the same number of millions, we look across to our hundred thousands place value column. Here we have 6 in the hundred thousands, but here we have a 7. So that means this number here is next smallest, and this number is our largest number.